Aloha and welcome to Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We broadcast live every Thursday from 2 to 2.30 uh, in the downtown high-tech studios of ThinkTech Hawaii in the Pioneer Plaza. Uh, we are a story or we are a show that focuses on success stories in Hawaii of businesses and their owners and also organizations that support the small business community and help it to thrive. Uh, today we've got two very important guests uh, from the Hawaii Small Business Regulatory Review Board uh, who is responsible to oversee and advise the governor on different rules and regulations that are being proposed uh, within the state. And I'll let uh, our guests talk a little bit more about that. But we've got to Tony Borge, who's the chairman of the Small Business Regulatory Review Board. And then we've got Kyoto Kimura, who is the vice chair. So welcome, your returning guests. It's great to have you come back. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, why don't we go ahead and just start out with just a, an introduction. What is the Hawaii Small Business Regulatory Review Board? Small Business Regulatory Review Board is, is a, a volunteer board uh, and, and made up of basically nine board members. And the board members are, are uh, I guess, appointed the two from the um, by the governor, three from the Speaker of the House, and three from the uh, Senate President. And pretty much uh, what we do is we advise, uh, as an advisory board, we advise the governor uh, on, on rules and regs that may impact or have a negative impact on small business, as well as, you know, take, uh, accept uh, uh, petitions from, from uh, small businesses that, that have, uh, may be experiencing, uh, uh, you know, negative impact on their business on um, some of the rules that are in existence. So it, it's twofold. But basically as an advise, advisory board to the government. Right, it's an advisory capacity. But the small businesses, if they encounter something that may be particularly challenging, can they come to you and, and kind of ask for your help or thoughts on the matter? Of course. And, and at least one board member is from each county. Mm -hmm. And I'm from Maui. so. The neighbor island small business can come to their board member on their own. Oh, own. so they don't have to come to Oahu then. They can do this on Maui or the Big Island or whatever. And and how do if they want to do that? How do they find you and reach out to you and get the information so they can make an appointment or, or talk to you? Well, we normally have our meetings the uh, every month monthly meetings. It's the uh, third Wednesday of the month. And it's held at the DBED, uh, um, uh, on the fourth floor DBED building. Uh, that's right on Hotel Street. Right, that's actually the Hawaii, what is it, Hawaii Culture and the Arts. The, mm -hmm. the old YMCA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. Next to it, yeah. Right, yeah, next to it. Oh. Was YMCA before? Yeah, that was the old Chris Hemeter uh, yeah. corporate. Yeah, the Chris uh, Hemeter took the old YMCA yeah, and rebuilt it. Looks very it. nice, yeah, by the way. Looks good. Yeah, but yeah, so uh, the third Wednesday of the month we have meetings there, and uh, you know, it's usually we get started at 10 o'clock. It's posted a week ahead on the uh, Lieutenant Governor's website, so you can get the information there. You can go to the DBED website as well and uh, click on Business Resources, and I believe or uh, yeah, Business Resources and the uh, Small Business Regular our review board will, will appear on that as well as the uh, uh, meetings and you know uh, agenda. And is there a, a capability to send an email for for example if somebody wanted uh, they were on Maui and they wanted to reach out to Kilko and ask to speak to her and talk to her about an issue would they be able to do that through the website? They, they can contact through the email from the website and, and somebody is going to contact back to you where okay. you can reach me. Good, good, good. All right, because I would imagine that there would be people that would be interested from the neighboring islands and are not having to travel mm -hmm. to sure. Oahu. All right, very good. And so you meet the third Wednesday of every month. Yeah. Now, is that open to the public? Yes, it is. Okay. Very good. Open to the public and more. Yeah, it's, it's you know. We're under the sunshine law. Yeah, so good. So no, very no secrets. In fact, we encourage everybody to come down. We got, you know, if we don't have enough room, there's standing room only. That's fine. Good. And we normally have water for everybody. So. All right. Very good. And, the, and Tony, you chair this and you run this and, and you've got your board there from the different islands. And I guess what happens is that people actually have an opportunity to come up and, and present or talk. Do they have to be on the agenda? in order to talk or can they just show up and, and ask to speak well you should you know 
you should be on the agenda. If you got uh, specific business to address, you should be on the okay. agenda. We do take you know comments or or hear people who are there, um, but normally it's got to pertain to what's already on the agenda. Right. So yeah, you know, and it's yeah. the proper way. Um, Part of the rules and regs, yeah, you should be on the agenda. Yeah, it's always and, better. Yeah, and it, it, it's pretty easy to, to, to uh, for a, a business to, to get a hold of the, um, the Small Business Regulatory Review Board, either the website uh, and or, you know, telephone. But um, it, it's, um, we, we, we've strived to make it a lot easier. I mean, we, we can do it via the, the internet, via the website, mm -hmm. and you can do it via fax as well. So, you know, we add telephones. What's, so. what's fax? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. Yeah. We need to publish one week before, the seven days before the meeting, mm. the agenda. So it's, it's, if somebody wants to something particular to be discussed at the meeting, needs to contact us seven days prior. Good. To okay. That, that's a good. And, and finding the website is easy. I mean, sometimes all you have to do is just Google D-Better yes. or you know, and it pops small right up, and, yeah, okay. and small business. Okay, all right. So it makes it easy to to find. What are some of the issues that you address? I mean, there's there's I guess a lot going on these days. I guess the legislature just kind of mm -hmm. um, ended. They might have a special session coming up. Uh, a lot of controversial possibilities any, there. Any amendment of any rules or the new rules needs is mandated to come through us. Wow, that's a big job. Yes, so it's from agricultural regulation to license issues to um, workers' comp. Wow. It's, it's all over. Medical marijuana too? It came. Wow. Yeah, and any agency regarding, you know, promulgating new rules and regs or changing uh, revisions would have to come before the Small Business Regulatory Review Board for, for our input as far as, you know, affecting, if it affects small business. So I guess what the agencies do, they, they, we have a, a, a um, form that they would fill out and kind of walks them through to see if the rules and regs that they're, they're, they're putting forth does impact small business. If it does, then it comes to us. All right. Would that form also be available on the website? Yes, it is. All right. So there's, there seems to be a lot of resources there that they could check into and uh, download the form and get a better feel for, you know, how the whole process works. Very good. Um, now, I've been to some of your meetings, and some of them are, are pretty active. There's a, a lot going on. There's a lot of discussion, and I've seen people lining up in the hallway to talk. Um, you know, is that normal? Is it, is it usually pretty busy? Depends on the agenda. We hear sometimes about sea cucumber regulation. Then mm. that very small group is interested in versus if the workers' comp rates mm. are going to go up, then so many people will come. So. I remember one time I was there and they were talking about DCCA increasing their fees yeah. and that seemed to be a pretty popular topic and there was yes. a number of people there to, to provide testimony on that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, it, it's great though that we, we get that kind of input, especially from the small businesses. Uh, I mean, that's what we're there for. So if we can encourage more of that and, and you know, that would be the greatest thing, I mean, to be heard and, and um, yeah, we're an advisory committee, but, you know, it, it's, it, I still think it's worth um, getting the input from mm -hmm. those that would be affected, the small business, because small business is such a big part of the state's economy that, you know, I mean, it's a great economic engine generating, you know, um, tax revenue and whatnot um, from uh, law-abiding small businesses, right? Well, of course. Yeah. But yeah, so it's, it's you know, to me, I, 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 we welcome that. that, that that's great. Makes, makes up, we feel good in what we do. You know, it's an all-volunteer board, mm -hmm. so we don't get paid. Uh, you know, Kyoko comes over from the neighbor islands. It's, that's, that, that's the whole day. Uh, same thing with the other members coming over from uh, the big island. Right now, we don't have a member from Kauai, but but yeah, it, it's it's that, and then also, you know, the prepping for the um, the um, the meetings and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it it's voluntary, but uh, we do it because you know we, we believe that small business um, there's a lot to be done for small business, make it easier. Well, you know, it's it's coincidental that you mentioned that, but uh, in the next issue of the Hawaii Business Magazine, I wrote a column about how important a small business is to the Hawaiian community, and it, it represents over 50 percent of the employment and gr domestic product in Hawaii is 50 percent. Um, you know, you've got to have a, a strong, thriving small business community. If you didn't have that, our economy here in Hawaii would collapse. Oh, definitely. We agree. However, the, most of the small businesses don't have time to 
pay attention to those changes, even if yeah. they, so that's why, where we want to represent them. Right. And it's nice that you've got representation on each island. It makes it a lot more convenient for them to be able to get their voice heard. And, and also the, the board members, um, you know, that, that, that are appointed pretty much uh, come from different fields. So, you know, we, the, the idea is to have, you know, somebody from the, the tourism, retail, um, um, construction, yeah. you know, and, and a good cro finance. Yeah. So a good cross-section so we can really represent, uh, you know, the, um, the small business community. Yeah, yeah. no, it, it's important. Uh, there's, I guess, some, and we can probably come back to this after the break. We're coming up against a break right here, but uh, there's some opportunity to serve on the board if, if people were so inclined. And we'll um, maybe chat about that a little bit. I mean, how many open positions do you have? Well, good question. Right now we have, what, uh, two open, one open position, but uh, hopefully the governor signs part of the legislature, um, one of the bills that was passed was increasing the board from nine members to 11. So we'll have three, three wow. seats yeah, to fill. So you're gonna have to get a bigger room. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> right? We gotta get more water too. Yes. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, and so in 11, so we're gonna be able to you know, bring in more industry experience and, yes. and more talent and, and really have a, a very viable, strong, well, I mean, I know you already have one, but having an extra couple members just allow, allows a str more sure. strength. Mm -hmm. and, and that was the intent, uh, uh, the, the, the idea being that, you know, one was to have, uh, achieve quorum, but more importantly, to have um, uh, a voting quorum. When we have issues that board members need to recuse themselves if they got mm -hmm. direct financial interest, mm -hmm. so a lot of times you can't, um, you can't do anything, uh, you, you, we don't have a quorum. So by having 11, hopefully we, we don't run across that too many times. That's a good point. Yeah, it's, it's good to, even when you recluse yourself, it's good to have enough voices there sure. to, to really be powerful when you make your recommendations to, to the governor. Sure. Yeah. I agree. All right, so if somebody was interested in serving uh, or submitting their name to be considered for service on the board, how what's the process for that? There's, there's a website that it's all electronically. You need to download your resume and your interest on the state boards and commission website mm -hmm. and then okay. choose Small Business Regulatory Review Board okay. to, to serve on. All right, and would that be through the Lieutenant Governor's website or just through DCCA or do you know how or where that would be? There's an independent website called Boards and Commissions. Okay. All right, so I'm sure there's a way that we can find that. Google is amazing yes. how you can find stuff. <laughs> and, and Hawaii it, State Boards and Commissions. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Right. Very good. Well, let me um, go on break for a minute. We'll come back. We'll talk a little bit more about the makeup of the board, and maybe we can talk about some of your success stories, you know, and what some of the issues are that you're dealing with. Um, this is Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. Uh, we're talking today with the Hawaii Small Business Regulatory Review Board, the chairman and co-chairman. Uh, we'll be back in about 60 seconds. Yeah, I think that is a regular accordion. 
I am live. Thank you very much. This is Reg Baker, Business in Hawaii. Uh, we are talking today with the State of Hawaii uh, Regulatory F uh, Review Board. I keep calling it fairness. Uh, full disclosure, I'm on the National uh, Regulatory Fairness Board of the SBA, and, and sometimes I have a Freudian slip there, but it's the Regulatory Review Board for the State of Hawaii. And we've got Tony and Kyoko here today, and, and they're sharing with us all of their experience on, on how this board works. Uh, now, you, you've got nine, you may be going to 11, but you're looking for a cross-section of different industries, uh, different islands. Um, we've got one open spot for Kauai right now. Uh, what kind of industry experience are you looking for? Well, we do need, uh, I know finance right off the bat would be good, uh, finance, accounting, that, that area. And then um, farming, agriculture would be a yeah. good one too okay. that we, we, we currently um, need. And that's a big part, or a growing part of a growing, it's funny, <laughs> growing part of the small business uh, makeup here. Um, and hopefully it's green. Yeah, you know. So, but yeah. So agriculture, uh, uh, transportation would be another one. You know. That's a that would be a big one. There's a lot going on out at yeah. the airport, or or should be going on at the airport. <laughs> yeah, we all can agree on that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So if, if any of the audience has any experience in any of those industries or have an interest in serving on a regulatory review board, um, I, they need to go ahead and, and go online, find that website, attach a resume, fill out the form, and submit it. Right. And the qualifier is basically either, you know, a current owner or previous owner of a, of a small business. And Define small business real quick. Well, for Hawaii, it's, you know, less than 100 employees, okay. basically. I know on the federal level, it's 500, right? So, you know, for, for Hawaii, you know, um, it, it's 100. And, and um, uh, of course, 100 employees in Hawaii t is really... It still represents a big percentage yes. of the businesses. Definitely. Yeah. I know at 500, it's about 97, 98 percent. Yeah. At 100, it's probably 60 or 70 percent. No, yeah, you're right. That's an educated guess, but probably in the ballpark. All right, very good. Um, explain to me a little bit about some of the successes that you had. I, I, I've, I've heard about the, the Oahu Liquor Commission, and they've been very yeah. responsive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have been very pro-business, especially for the small businesses, and they, they proposed this amendment to their existing rules, but some of the small business raised some concern, and they, they listened, and they changed the amendment that that's really that's, unheard of for the I government. I was just going to say that yes, that's yes. amazing. You know. So we applaud their effort of listening to yeah. us. You know, and, and, and they were responsive. And, and, and they they understand the purpose of the the department is to keep the community safe, not to hurt the community. Right. And, and if as long as they can keep the mission they can be flexible. Right, and that's a good attitude to have. Yes. It's more of a partnership and cooperation sure. working together. Um, is it safe to assume that all of the organizations and agencies you work with act that way? I, I wish I could say yes. <laughs> I mean, that would be the ultimate. Um, and, you know, pretty much, um, you know, every monthly meeting, it's uh, what I kind of interject into the, uh, if it's the agencies coming forth, is that, you know, if they can engage the stakeholders early on in the process rather than at the tail end, mm -hmm. you know, when, mm -hmm. when the No surprises. Yeah, you know, and that's why I guess, you know, one of the things, I don't want to get off track, but we got to look at how, you know, the, the, the way the uh, rules and regs are put forth now, the process, we need to look at that. That's going to be a statute change, but they need to look at that and, and maybe change it because nobody wants to, you know, you do all your, your, your research, put, put, put your proposal out for public hearing, and you get all of a sudden, because you didn't engage the stakeholders, you find out there's a lot of problems with mm. this. By that time, you're already done 99% of the work. You think you're going to go back and want to change any of those uh, rules or you know that you put forth with be the best intentions, but you know, and, and doing the, the job that should be done. But you know, you forgot about the whole intent is you know we still got to work with the small businesses. Right. Know? I mean, going back and redoing things is is not only a little embarrassing but also expensive. You yeah. know, it takes time and effort to go back and rethink some things, and and then once you make that acknowledgement. Then you start pulling in the stakeholders, and you might find out that there's other areas. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think, you know, and I, not to politicalize anything, but that's was one of the issues.
churches when they did Obamacare is that they just tried to come up with this plan and, and somebody said, read it and you'll find out what's in it. <laughs> and when they read it, they found out there was problems. And going back to redo it is something that we've been fighting with for, what, eight years. Yeah, and you know, you learn from your mistakes, right? So the idea is hopefully it does, that doesn't happen again. And I, th I think it's important that, you know, the more we can, you know, collaborate, work together. We, we know we got to have rules and regs, but we got to make it so that it it's, it's doesn't, uh, you know, impact one industry or one group of, in this case, small businesses more than it should, uh, you know, and that's the key because we got way too many rules and regs. For a small business person to, you know, um, some of it make a lot of sense, some of it, you know, if you ask me, I, if we weren't on the air, I'll tell you exactly what I thought about it, <laughs> but, you know, and, and that's why we volunteer our time because we want to, you know, minimize do away with what, you know, or at least advise the governor, and you know that it, it just it, it doesn't make sense or it impact businesses, you know, uh, heavily. That it shouldn't be, you know, put well, forth. Getting good, effective collaboration tends to improve the final product. I agree. You know, and what you end up with is going to be a much better result than if you try to do things independently without getting that input. Now, it may drag the process out a little bit, but if it's done efficiently, it doesn't have to be that much more effort. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we still have a lot of rules and regulations that are not unnecessary. Mm -hmm. And I've heard maybe not always consistent. So what what may be a set of rules on Oahu may be different yeah, on Maui. Yeah, it's supposed to be the same state law, the liquor law is. But like I gave you an example in Oahu, but in Maui, every board member, even for the nonprofits, needs to submit all the records of fine twenty five dollars or more ever since you were eighteen. At like my age or your age, do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> do you remember you had library fine the, the, when you were nineteen? Those years are kind of foggy, so <laughs> very, very, yeah, it would be difficult. Yeah. So yeah. something like that, it doesn't prevent from securing public safety by missing one library fine when you're at nineteen, right? It, it kind of sounds like somebody's got an agenda. Yes. That maybe isn't you know directly involved in their duties, maybe at the liquor commission. And so for some other reason, they're trying to stall the process or stop you know, certain things from happening, and that's well, unfortunate. That, yeah. Our goal is to make the state a better, um, easier place to do business. Mm -hmm. That's what we are shooting for. You know, and the, and the reach of the small business regulatory review board. You know, we were on the DBED state uh, agency, but we also advise or provide input to the counties as well, and that's why, you know, like the city and county of Honolulu, county of Kauai, um, Maui County, um, they put forth, you know, uh, things that affect small business comes to us as well. And, and gives us the opportunity to give our input, uh, like it or not, you know. Uh, yeah. well, that, that makes the, uh, the review board kind of uh, unique in a sense because not only is it a state type of board, but it also has city and county sure. activities going on. Advisory. Yeah. Advisory. <laughs> but n nonetheless, it's still, a, a, it sounds like a, a pretty important board to be on, you know, to, to hear about all these changes and all these things that are going on and, and hopefully take some steps to make things more workable for that small business community. That's the intent, and that's why we, you know, we um, part of the board, and um, you know, it, it to me, it, it's small business needs representation. Um, it, it's it's it's. Uh, Whatever help we can provide, uh, you know, we're like the like you, the advocate for small business. Mm -hmm. We're the ombudsman for you know, That's for for small business, and um, and hopefully we can make an impact. You know? Does do you have the opportunity to collaborate with other organizations so that you can take the voice and make it a little bit louder? I mean, I know that's kind of like the brand name for the Chamber of Commerce is the voice of business. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I see an opportunity for some collaboration there. Does sure. that happen? Yes. Like we, we try to go speak to them as much as possible in, in all counties. That's like we, that's well, we just had a uh, large conference of small businesses and we participated mm -hmm. there too. 
That's good. That's good. So that was another platform for you to get some feedback from the, the, the small business community on Maui on, on some of the issues that are out there. Yes. And did you get some of that? Yes. All right. Yeah, we did. Kyoko did a great job representing the, the Small Business Regulatory Review Board as well as Dory, who's part of you know DBED, who, who's the executive director of, of, of the board. But uh, they did a great job of Maui, and we, we you know we um, continue. We want to do more like that uh, going forward. Uh, you know, we want to get the word out who we are, what we do, mm -hmm. and that way, you know, maybe we can have standing room only at the uh, um, yeah. hearings that we have, especially if it's matters that will affect, you know, small business. So, absolutely, and what we need to really work on is getting somebody from Kauai. We need that. Yeah, yeah. we we have needed a person from Kauai for the last six months. Yeah, wow, it's been vacant. So. Now, Kauai has a Chamber of Commerce out there. Have you reached out to they them? Do. We have, I yes. think Mark is the executive director. Yes, yeah. yeah. In fact, Mark's been to a couple of our meetings. Yeah, yes. so, okay, well, I can put some pressure on that, too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we, we'll get somebody from Kauai. Yeah, yeah. yeah I had a, a guest on the show, I guess, uh, last year. It was the Pie Lady of Kauai. And she makes all the savory pies and the sweet pies. She's got like three or four different shops over there. We weren't there. invited? Yeah, well, <laughs> there was only enough pie for one. Oh. <laughs> okay, but, I yeah, we can, we can reach out. We know some people over there. <laughs> all right, but we're going to have to wrap up right now. It's great to have you back on the show again. Um, I'd like to try to make this a, a regular type of recurring uh, update. Uh, and particularly if there are issues out there or if, uh, if there's a particular issue you want to get more feedback on, sure. maybe there's a way we can have a show and talk about about great. that. That'll be you know, great. just kind of help get the word out. Uh, but this is Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. Uh, we broadcast live every Thursday from three to th uh, from two to two thirty uh, from the, the studios uh, in the Pioneer Plaza downtown Honolulu. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, aloha.